Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So, in continuation to our design pattern series, uh, uh, what we discussed in the last uh, lecture, we discussed about how to achieve craft safety using the synchronized keyword or implement the singleton design pattern using the synchronized keyword. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about what were the challenges associated with the synchronized keyword. So, when we use the synchronized keyword, uh, we have the performance issues that I'll be discussing uh, uh, in this session itself and then how we can avoid these performance issues using the uh, double check mechanism and uh, along with that we will how to achieve the threat safety using the double check mechanism right so uh, let me jump on to the code uh, where we have this synchronized so in the synchronized uh, uh, part whenever uh, like for example we have multiple threads so if one thread is get trying to get get instance it will lock this particular uh, uh, block right similarly if the second thread will come that will also lock it if the third thread will come that will also lock it which will lead to uh, like have multiple locking right again and again which is not required right because for example if first thread uh, got get instance we, we got the single instance so that should be used across all the all the threads right but this synchronized is leading each thread to lock this resource which resource which is like leading the performance issues so now how we can avoid it so to avoid it there is a double check mechanism in singleton which is uh, just we are going to discuss now so if you look at it this is same code as the previous one only change which i have brought in is volatile keyword so we need to uh, bring in this volatile keyword I'll be discussing about what is the significance of using this volatile, volatile keyword and how we can achieve the thread safety and how we can get rid of the performance issues which came due to the synchronized keyword. So in this case, this is one change. And second change is we are right now checking if instance is null, only then we are synchronizing or we are like blocking or locking this particular get instance method so this is another way of uh, like achieving the thread safety or applying the synchronized keyword to a method right so if you look at it we have removed synchronized from here uh, as contrast to uh, the singleton synchronized so we we kept uh, synchronized here but in this case uh, we are not keeping it instead what we are checking so in first iteration what will happen the instance would be null so only then we are like locking it right now the second thread will come it won't go inside this uh, because the instance is not null but now the question is how the second thread will get to know that instance has already got some object right so for that purpose volatile is introduced so volatile keyword is for the purpose of like sharing the visibility of a variable to across multiple threads let me share you some definition on volatile keyword so i have uh, noted it down so volatile keyword in java is used to indicate that variables value may be modified by multiple threads simultaneously what does it mean it is almost similar to static keyword right but it is for the uh, like multi-threading case it ensures that the variable is all, always read from and return to the main memory so we are reading it from one main, main memory so that all threads can access it right it's like uh, like some string similar to string constant pool it is having some main memory it is not keeping it in the thread specific cache so that every thread can take a look on this and they can understand that first instance in the first iteration the variable uh, the object got created in the first iteration the object got created and it has now value so from the second thread it will come here and it won't find it as null and it will simply return the instance right so it does not need to log the resource again and again so this is how we can achieve the thread safety and how we can get rid of the performance issues introduced due to the synchronized keyword at the method level right uh, so this is it on the singleton design pattern so in the upcoming session we will be discussing on how to initialize a driver using singleton design pattern uh, from the test automation perspective um, so uh, that is it for now please uh, like share and subscribe i really need your support your motivation uh, will help me create such more videos and uh, we will help more and more people and uh, help help them grow right so thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for more updates thank you